Everybody watch the pixels blend. And finally, we are on the last workflow now that is related to image editing and that is upscaling. So basically, again, a very simple example for this one. We are putting an image over here and we load an upscale model for it. And this is a very fast thing that you can see here. And in this case, we are using an image comparer node, and this comes from the RG3 Conf UI node pack. Highly recommend this one too. And by having something like this in your workflow, you are basically able to see before and after comparison from a generation. So basically, the input image is being loaded in image A and the generated image is loaded in image B. And if you zoom into a certain area, you can now see the difference between those two images and the resolution just increased by 100%. And this is due to loading a model with a factor times two. You can go for another model uh, for example, the four times ultra sharp model, this will bring four times the resolution that you have put it in to the load image input over here. It will take some more time, but it's also a very fast option. And as you are now able to compare images right inside ConfUI with just a slider, you should see that this is even a higher quality now. But depending on your input image, you must be aware that all the information will be taken into consideration to this. And sometimes it makes more sense to do a factor two by two times to achieve a better result than you see here from just one generation. As always, there is another option to do something like this in a different way. And for example, here we are using the Ultimate SD Upscaler as a custom node. Highly recommend this one too. And um, just loading it up, setting all the models like you see here and hit generate will give you a result. GPU. Run the frames now. Run the frames now. Run the frames now. Going. Design dreams and visions clear. Build it tall. Sky scrape desire. Bites and bits. Ignite the fire, from code to vision, towers rise, in tech we trust, the dream applies, virtual walls, with perfect lines, GPU hums, art redefined, looping falls, in megabytes, infinite possibilities, in virtual sites, textures form, landscapes lie, in digital realm, Creativity fry with the touch of a button. See grown this way from the pixel paradise where dreams come to play. From gold division, towers rise in tech and trust. So now you see what this does, and um, it is a very good option to have details generated on top on your image. And basically, this is done with um, the upscale factor that you see here. And what the node does is tile the image into the amount of tiles that depends on the resolution um, from your input image and the resolution for each tile that is set over here. Then it creates basically an image to image workflow for each tile. And here is the denoise value for this function. 
And if you have a look over here, we have loaded a control net into it. If you put this control net into the apply control net node, like you see it's done here, the control net will automatically assume what you are trying to achieve. And you can, of course, do this manually too by set union control net type as a node and connect this one to the control net. Here you see by default it's set to auto. This is what I just described. And if you basically want to further control what it really does, then you choose something like this in this case over here. So now this control net will try to repaint what we just already did and lowering the denoise over here will change the image much less of course and it's about finding the sweet spot for enhancing an image like you see here so now you are equipped with a lot of functionality and i hope you will find many things that are of use to you and happy upscaling with this workflows mm -hmm.